Yeah, hello and welcome to the channel. The name is Guru Boy. Today we do have the M11, which has Google account on it. Over here, we, we do have the Google Lock on this device. Forever is the strangest thing. As it's, it's, it's been written, an aut unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default setting. Connect to Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. Okay, so we need to connect to a, a Wi-Fi network over there. That, there's my Wi-Fi network over there, so I'm going to input the password of it. After inputting the password of your Wi-Fi network, make sure to connect to the internet. So when you click next. Wait for it to check for updates for the first time. Now, here is it. It says you should verify a previous pattern. Yours may be PIN or password. You don't know. You don't know it. So if you do know your Google account, you can use it to bypass this verification so if you don't know your google account you don't remember your previous security code you created then watch the video to the end now there's no skip button over here for us to skip this tutorial so there's no skip button so let's begin let's begin the tutorial so first we need Fee apps, fee apps over there. There's the Samsung drivers over here, and the Samfem AI version 1.43 over here, and the Netflix. Netflix work 4.7.2. You you have to install all these three files. For the sum, you have to extract it. You have to extract it. So here is my. I just extracted it on my desktop. So land the app. Click yes to run the program. Let me zoom in a little bit. So when you are in the app, make sure to connect your device. Connect your phone to the device, the computer. So over here you have my phone connected. You have my phone connected, so all I have to do is to move to Android tools in the same firm. Then you move to bypass FRP. Now, for the first time using this app, you need you need to notice this. You have to click here to disable disable driver signature for the first time. So when you do this, you need to have reboot your computer so after you've done that re reopen the app and follow the tutorial so you need to scan your drive your your ULD port so when you scan make sure it select Samsung mobile USB modem else go through the list and select it yourself so after that move to the second part and select Android heading Android heading settings galaxy into in bracket galaxy store select that one then now let's begin the bypass click bypass FRP click on it wait now as you do see over here there is a pop-up so now click view 
click on the view click on the view wait for it to load for some devices you need to update your samsung galaxy app before you can use it but my is run on the latest security pass so i don't need to update my samsung galaxy app so if you update it now over here they say i should update my samsung galaxy app so i will have to update it so I'll wait for it to finish updating. After updating, it will close from the app and you store the Galaxy Store. I think it will make two downloads. Installing, then it will close and download the second part. Download the Samsung Galaxy app wait for it to finish downloading installing the update after installing the app will close so go back to the app move back to the sam firmware app and scan the usb port again Make sure you connect your your device. Make sure you connect your device. After connecting your device, scan the port. Scan the port. Is the thing. And go it's for the Samsung thing. modern USB. Then click this bypass. Let's do it no again. Thing. Click on the bypass. Wait for it to finish now click on the open now. now that's it you have to disconnect disconnect your cable disconnect your cable you have to try it again I think you have to have a good internal connection to be showing some errors so let's install so the installation they will ask us to sign into our google uh, samsung account and i will input my password after inputting your password sign in So now they will send you a verification code. Longing is the music of our sphere. After inputting the verification the code, click down. Now you sign into more. your Samsung Galaxy store. And now the app will start downloading. Wait for it to be finish downloading. And So when it's finished downloading, open the app and after opening the app, we are going to search for open the app. So in the app, click here to search. So you search for choose screen, choose screen lock. So choose screen lock, click the first one. And now we are in and we go in for pin. Now let's do it. One, two, three, four. Let's set up security lock on the device one. Forever is the 
Now, wait for it. Uh, let's get back to the startup screen. Now, click start. Accept all the terms and click next. Click next. Now, they say you should verify our pin. This is one, two, three, four. So now, yeah, there's a skip button over here. Click skip. Now, more, more assets. Click OK. Yeah, the name is Guru Boy. If this video is really helping you, please make sure to give a like, comment below, and also subscribe and share the video to friends on your social media channel. Also, let me know if you are facing any challenges in this tutorial so I can assist you for you to do it better now you've successfully bypassed the hand 11 which was having google account lock on it so make sure to subscribe to my channel the name is guru boy so the final step for this tutorial is to remove the security lock we created if you like it that way you can keep it for me i will remove the security lock because it's too weak for someone to just access your device so here is the phone details the samsung m11 which is running on the current which is running on the current samsung security patch february 2021 security patch and also on android 10 so thanks for watching the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, peace.